Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're kind of getting into the final hours here. It's a little bit late this evening. It's uh, like a little bit after six. We're probably gonna be here till midnight, but um, David, we're almost done. Finally. Guys. The wait has been crazy. Just so you know, Brian did a terrible job with the intro there. This is David Calabrese. He is the owner of Silver Dollar. And he's came in and put in the hours to, to get us through that final moment so we can finally get this thing you know done, put to bed, yeah. get it outside, see it in the daylight. It's been kind of nice because we've been working on the outside of the truck the whole time. Mm -hmm. And I haven't even been inside hardly. And uh, this guy right here, got I'm trying out. to point at it correctly. It, yeah, that guy, <laughs> he's done the whole interior of this thing and it looks freaking super good. Yeah, it came out really good with the button tuck and... The dash panel. All the, the chrome, the painted, the stereo. I mean, it's like, and he's not completely done. Even when it leaves here, there's more stuff that you're going to end up doing to this yeah, truck, too. Yeah, definitely. We'll talk about that later in the video when we finish the truck and pull it out of the shop in the morning when and the sun's up. We get to hook it to a really nice step deck. Like oh, a yeah. Really, really nice we've, step deck. We've been mentioning that. Nobody's seen it, and it looks freaking rad. Yeah. So. Just, just, just as a, as a, as a teaser. Peter had this at his shop for how long? Like a whole week? It yeah, was more like, two weeks. He had two weeks. Almost 100 hours in it probably. Yeah, Peter had almost chrome, did his thing with this all aluminum step deck, step deck and it looks freaking sweet. I'm wearing so sunglasses really tomorrow. Cool. If the sun's out, it's gonna be hard to do. Can't wash it without sunglasses. Right. <laughs> we need the ZZ Top song. Uh, the, the Cheap sunglasses. Yeah, that needs to be the theme song of this, this ride for sure. But anyway, we're gonna keep rambling. Let's flip it around. Let's show you where we're at right now. And then uh, we're gonna get this thing finished up, pull it outside in the morning, right? Awesome, morning time. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, so here's where we're at, current state. I'm gonna go get pizza, you want some? <laughs> oh, pizza, yeah, uh, what kind of pizza y'all want? Uh, camouflage. Camouflage. Oh, we need, the, we need a box All of, uh, we need a box of camouflage. You'll know what we're talking about, just go over to the bureau. I don't wanna see it in my hand though, that's what I'm like. Cool. Yeah, Maybe if we get the camouflage when we figure, it disappears. yeah, the late evening kind of thing, we can get that, it'd be sweet. Okay. Yeah. I know what to do. And pizza. And pizza. You know what, there, there needs to be a movie quote right now. We, 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 we land movie quotes, we need a pizza movie quote. I have one in my head. Gone in 60 seconds. I was thinking, um... I was thinking, that's uh, serious. Find another way home, pizza boy. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> I was, I was gonna go for Ninja Turtles because, like, it was it's it's a oh, yeah. it's a wise man said forgiveness is divine, but never play never pay full price for late pizza. <laughs> I forgot about that movie. That was great. <laughs> and then my my so the one that comes to my mind is uh, the Fast and the Furious, and they're like, "What does that guy do?" And he's like, well, "Everybody's got to eat pizza, right?" <laughs> oh, yeah. This is Fred. He orders pizza like nobody else. Because <laughs> there you got to eat, right, or something eat, along right? those lines. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so yeah, we're getting pizza. Sweet. Uh, and you got three, you got three movie references out of that, so you're welcome. Anyway, so here's we're at. We've got um, right now. We got those guys. So that's the things left to do. We're gonna go over. We got those dudes. They're going on there. Uh, we are currently working on the lift kit for the bumper. That's a 12 gauge deal. So that's the one that comes up and out. You'll see that in a little bit. Fully ready to rock and roll. We've got the Roadworks grill in there already. Um, David knocked out all the red stuff and the emblems. So they're all chrome, they look nice. And uh, we got stacks on it. I'm not gonna show everything because we're gonna, we're gonna finally reveal this later, but there's a, there's a lot going on. I just seen somebody run around there hiding. But, uh, oh, we got a deck plate. Where are you going? Are you hiding, Shock? <laughs> Where'd he go? All right. Anyway, we're getting goofy. But we're getting this thing done. So there's where we're at. What else we got left to do? Oh. Uh, watermelon lights in the bumper. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of important. We got that guy right there. Shiny. Hey, you got your sunglasses on it, too, so that's good. You'll need those in the morning. Yeah, need those. All right, here we go. 720, and I'm about to mess up David's TikTok video, I think. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> All right, so Tyler's working on chrome hub covers. The uh, 
It's got the little oil window and everything in it. He's got this side done. I think he's working on this side over here now. Yep, that's what we're working on over here. Turn this one off. Get the oil drained out. Most of it anyway, he's never good at all. So we do the best we can do. Right. Now that we're here, I'm betting everybody wants to see this, so we're not gonna go away now. You gotta have a homemade funnel. Yeah, so you're just kind of getting the oil down into the wheel, out of the wheel, yeah. <laughs> into the pan as best you can. I wouldn't help you, but holding this camera is really hard work. I, I think I'd rather do this. <laughs> I'm not big on the camera. Holding it anyway. There it goes. Smooth. There we go. Maybe it's a trusty ring. Try and soak most of it up and then get the other one back on. Up getting most of the oil, it's pretty clean, nicely done. So, for everyone watching, what does that oil lubricate? That does the front hub bearings, keeps them nice and lubed up and cool. That way, you don't have your wheel lock up on you where you're going down the road. Yeah, bearings like lubrication, that's just. That's just that one basic, it's one of the basic rules of mechanics. Bearings like lubrication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. If you don't have that, then you're going to be stuck somewhere. <laughs> All right, so now that we got past that, it's basically just tightening down this hub cover here. Nice. Go back to the back. We'll see what everybody else is working on. Bill's working hard on dispatch, I think. Kind of. Doing, Maybe so. Doing Bill stuff. David's working hard on social media. Shockley just got the line plumbed in. That's the airline. He had to drill that little hole and tap it through. Put a nice little rubber grommet on there, too. <clears throat> All right. I think Brian's back here working on tightening down this plate all right brian <clears throat> what is up so we got the plate sitting on top of the frame i'm going to hand you two things okay a camera and a flashlight so you can show everybody there's flashlight hang on i gotta get my hand free okay there's a flashlight i got a light in here oh you do oh, yeah. all one. right show everybody how this thing bolts down yeah all right that's why okay so well, oh, there we go. So basically right here, you got these, uh, we got these studs. And uh, what I've learned is that we really should have taken the tape off of this before we put it on, because that's fun to take off. On this side, I've already got them, but here's our plate. So I'll get that with the impact. That'll tighten down, hold this directly to the frame. It's not going nowhere. There is uh, six or eight, there's six of these. And, uh, Currently, that's what I'm working on. Nice. I could use it to be a little shorter. It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> so those bolts are directly welded to the bottom of this plate. And then he's using these plates to uh, basically leverage against the bottom side there. And it's just, you know, kind of leveraging and holding them up. So, I'd have been done 10 minutes ago if we'd have taken the tape off. <laughs> Yeah, well, we like putting you in uh, precarious positions. Oh, well, I got one now. All right, well, that's the, uh, that's the update in a nutshell and uh, a little bit of mechanics of how this is, uh, this is all going. All right, walking into the interior here. Where'd you go, David? Right I lost you. I'm right here. All right, so <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the interior a bit because <clears throat> you've been working in here, plugging away at this. We've not covered this much at all. And this 
does not look even remotely stock. There's there's all kinds of really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, just 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 walk me through it here. Like I, we'll start with the door panels over there behind you. Yeah, I see I've got a set of spare time fabs, black on black. I only have the water mount water mount light on the bottom where the original door light is. That's yep. what wires in. And then just put the chrome panels here. Um, put some chrome around here, around the steering column. Okay. Uh, you know, and then did the uh, the map light delete with the watermelon lights from spare time as well. Nice. And then um, we did some more button tuck on the back there. The spare time as well along with the outside bunk door. And, and I, did I hear correctly that you have intentions of, of doing this one too? Yeah, I got this one, but I am short 12 buttons. Just like the like the little rivet buttons yeah, to stick the, it up. The, yeah, to put it up. Oh, nice. Yeah, people people are gonna hear buttons and think like you're short like these buttons on the front side. Yeah, and I also got the chrome vents instead of the little other plate they put like that stick on to the factory yep. ones. I replaced them with the full. Oh, so it's like a full chrome vent. Yeah, full chrome vent. Oh, nice. Sweet. And then I also put a change the normal shifter knobs out, what everybody else does. Cool. And then, um, well, that one's got the right logo on it. Yeah. And then I also, there's a 1500 watt amp underneath the bed with two tens on the other side of the wall. Okay. So it hits pretty good for being a small cab. Yeah. Is it going to sound pretty good when oh, it's it done? It sounds really good. Well, we'll have to crank it up tomorrow whenever we do our, our yeah. like our test drive. What about the, what about these seats? These are the legacy low, uh, mid backs. Uh, I'm pretty sure like the low riders, so they're a little bit lower than the factories. Yeah, I noticed that it gets way on down there. Yeah. As far as like the seat base of it. Yeah, I plan on getting the skirts redone with silver dollar on them. That'll be a good spot for it. Yeah, it's going to be on the outside, so when so you open the door, you can see it. You think you're going to design like a logo that like has silver dollar on uh, it? Or like, like maybe like something like cursive or something, something like old schoolish you know that'd be pretty cool got the small bunk so you got to keep it yeah, kind of traditional like incorporate some sort of coin or something into it yeah something that'd be pretty cool like maybe like in the a or something yeah that'd be that'd be pretty dope yeah nice all right yeah we did a lot of work coming out really well i'm nice. happy with it so so where'd you come up with the uh the um the name silver dollar what what that come from or is it just like i was just thinking like man the truck's silver silver like everything's silver match you know visor chops the the tanks and all that and the fenders yep so i was like yeah i was thinking of names trying to pass things around like silver dollar sounds cool you know spend a lot of money on it so yeah it's it's a pretty cool name and the the, the name of your company is pretty sweet the, the i see the logo there so diamondback transport diamondback transport and then your dad has uh his dad is diamondback towing yep i also have a diamondback towing as well oh nice in the ground so i have two companies so this is my like semi division i guess you could say so so where does the where does the name diamondback come from it originally came from my dad had a uh, trucking company originally my dad is i'm a third generation truck driver as well so nice. he's second generation his first company was Blue Diamond. He sold that company, started another company. So he said Diamondback Towing, like Diamondback, like his diamonds coming back. You know what I mean? That was like the original where it came from. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. And so, like, uh, like putting the like the the snake in the logo. Uh, what, was that? Was that? That you was doing actually that? through my uncle's grab business. <laughs> they did it, and then that's like it's stuck ever since. So we've been using it for. I don't know, 17 years now. I think. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so like uh, like me and Robert got into like a, a bunch of the like the logo designs and stuff for gliders uh, back when that happened. Uh, and that was like, I, I went into this whole, um, I don't know, just this whole rabbit hole of like marketing and, and you know, how much logos like can yeah. mean to a company. So like whenever I see a company with like a good logo, I, I super, super appreciate it. Yeah, it needs to stand out a little bit, you know, catch your yeah. eye, like so make, make them want to read it, you know. Exactly. If it's yeah. traditional, they're like, oh, just pass it by. It's just regular John Smith, you know what I mean? Yep. I know exactly what you mean. So. All right. So you say you're third generation. So what's, uh? so your, your grandfather originally got into trucking a long time ago? Yeah, he where my dad's at. I forgot what truck company he drove for, but then my, my grandfather got sick, and then my dad's been driving, was driving trucks since he was like 17. Uh -huh. And then he went over the road and then started his own, he became an owner-operator. 
Well, that's cool. So like, yeah, I'm, um, I'm, I'm second generation. I wish I could say I was a uh, was third generation, but we were, we're second generation truckers. My dad got into the transportation industry, and then of course me and my brother got into it really heavy. Actually, my all my siblings there's there's six of us total. Okay, yeah, <laughs> right. I'm the only one that's I got a brother and a sister, and I'm the only one that's involved in like anything to do with trucking. My brother works in my dad's towing company, but my love for semis has been since I was a child. Like when my dad was trucking over the road in the summertime, I would ride with him all summer long over the road with them. Oh, nice. Growing up. So and we flatbedded too. So I've been flatbedding my whole entire life, pretty much. And oh, that's cool. Throwing it's, tarps. So the uh, the SNS transportation or the the Diamondback transportation. Sorry, I've 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 been to, I've been building a lot of trucks this week, <laughs> this <laughs> month. So the Diamondback transport uh, is is that um, is that like you uh, just like an owner operator style business? Yeah, I'm or? an owner operator. Yep. Okay, so yep. Uh, you're not currently looking for a driver or a second driver. No, not yet. Um, I plan on placing another order for another truck here before I leave. Um, a truck with a drop axle for more okay. heavy equipment because that's what I'm be mostly going towards is heavy equipment hauling and yep. specialty stuff that stuff that people really like to do. You know? Is it is that something you're going to be looking for a driver for then, or you already yeah, probably that in mind? once I build that one, I'll probably be looking for a driver for this truck. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we always try to to let everybody know if they're watching out there and it's something like they would be interested in yeah. definitely want to like try to, to you know reach out um and then uh you know we always try to we always want to give our customers an opportunity to like you know plug hey if you're if you're looking for a uh, job and you're in this area uh hit us up so we will put all your information for the diamondback transportation in the uh, uh what is it the comment section it's not comments no, it's, it's the, the, uh, the header i guess <laughs> it's the about us uh, guys, yeah, the, the, i'm losing my mind it's late and we shouldn't be here right now, but we get stuff done when we need to get stuff done. <laughs> Got it, you know? So, but anyway, um, uh, the description, video description, that's where it is. Yes, so, the video description, yeah. And the video description, cool. All right, so where are you based out of? I'm out of Mooresville, North Carolina. Mooresville, North Carolina. Yep. All right, guys. Free he is, City, USA. He is not currently looking for a driver, but when the new truck lands, that's that's going to be that's going to be the time. What does your business specifically specialize in at the moment? Uh, just right now, my towing company is mostly rotations, roadside, whatever else that we can pretty much fit on our rollbacks. You know, um, what what is this rig going to be doing? This rig is going to be hauling. Pretty much anything that's paying very well at this time, you know, but I'm mostly going to be trying to haul equipment with it. Nice. You know, um, it's another adventure for myself, you know. Um, it's mostly going to be heavy equipment hauling, get into that, make connections, you know, yep. along along the way. And Well, you shouldn't have a problem. Like, if, if people if people make connections based on what they see, then this, this truck's going to be, this yeah. truck's going to be really good at making connections. Yeah, people, like, I always try to tell everybody that, you know, even though I'm still young, but if you look good doing something, people want to talk to you and want to want you to haul their freight or their equipment because they, they like their equipment or their freight on something cool looking. Well, and not only that, it's 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 the cool factor, but <clears throat> you take care, you take care of your truck, you're going to take care of them. Exactly. When I when I see a truck like this hauling a piece of equipment, what it says to me is this guy cares about his equipment, and that means he's exactly. going to care about my equipment on his trailer. And that's that's a hundred percent, like a thousand percent, what I would be looking for if I had something heavy that I needed to have hauled around. I'm definitely going to be looking for someone who's you know using nice equipment themselves. Yeah, it's right? not saying that a guy has a little, a little bit of an older truck that they're not going to take good care of it, but just gives you a better use. I don't know how to say. I guess it would you, make you, it, you just take that assumption already upon yourself. You know, like okay, that guy's nice equipment. He's going to take very very well care of my stuff. You know? it, it, that's that's the natural assumption, right? Like yeah, that's yeah, that's just, that's what everybody's going to think. Well, yeah. And so if that's the impression you're trying to put off, I think you're definitely going to do a fantastic job at it. But Thank you. all right, man. Well, thanks for chit chatting with me here. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go find Brian. We're going to go do some more stuff. Yep. Perfect. Thank all you. Right, thanks. All right, guys, we got the truck done. It's finished. Yep. A little late. It's a little bit late at night. We didn't get outside in time and we really thought we were going to have plenty of time to get out there and do a walk around and show you guys this truck before it got too dark on us, but unfortunately we just didn't make it happen. Uh, so what we're going to do, instead of showing you guys the full reveal of this video, there's a full video coming out. Uh, the very next one is going to be the full walk around, the full reveal, truck and trailer hooked together in daylight, where it, uh, it's, it's a little more visible.
Oh yeah, absolutely. We're doing that. We're we're, we're going to be making the video first thing in the morning. Um, but when we get done with this piece right here, we're going to wash the truck, and that you'll see that in the next video. But it's uh, dude, this thing turned out sharp. It came out awesome. It's very really happy with it for sure. It's super cool. The more we kept working on this thing, and more pieces we're putting on it, it kind of keeps coming together and coming together. And it's, I'm super happy with it. It's simple, but like there's a lot of different unique things all over it that are very sleek, you know, mm -hmm. and you don't see that often. Nope. It's a, uh, we still haven't seen it with the trailer. We haven't seen it with the trailer yeah, yet. And I really want to see the trailer behind this thing. I'm not hundred percent sure that I would even call it simple. I mean, this is, this was, but like, I mean, there's a lot there's bolted a lot. onto it, but it's like, it's clean, clean. Yeah, yes. They, they all blend in really well. You can't, there's, there's a lot that you can't tell is even there until you're like looking close. Yeah. So. And you guys got some insight in on uh, on David's gig, like what he's doing and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, we got the, we got why the you got a, why you decided to build a super cool truck and all that. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. It'd be nice to have him drive down the road with it. You know, should turn some heads. It's gonna turn a bunch of heads. Like, it's super cool. All right. Well, you that's guys. it. Video's coming soon. Full reveal. I hope nobody's like too mad at us for not actually showing all the truck yet. But yeah, it's well, it's coming really soon. It's gonna be know, somebody, man. You got the keyboard where you were hanging out. Well, let's we'll see. <laughs> we'll get back, like, oh, there. Yep. Yeah. Mm, that's all I get this time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Nice teaser. <laughs> all right. The, the rest of it is all completely finished truck, and it's the reveal and everything like that. Anyway, you guys know what to do. If you want to see that, you got to like, you got to subscribe. Uh, the subscription, if you hit that little bell uh, at the bottom, thing, they do, like yeah, at the bottom. Yeah, like the hit screen. the little Down bell. There. That will give you notifications, and then when the video goes live, you'll be the first to know. So you want to do that as well. And then you want to go to Instagram. At Semi Casual Show. <laughs> TikTok now. TikTok. TikTok at Semi Casual Show. And we'll give you one more thing. If you actually probably want to see a full picture of this truck, I'm not. I'm thinking you probably already put it up on yours. Uh, it's on my Snapchat. I haven't posted it yet. Oh, you haven't? I might do it late tonight. So what is okay? Yeah, maybe like a little hint. What is your uh, what is your no TikTok and, and Instagram? Instagram is Calaboots43, and then my TikTok is Silver Dollar Three Eighty Nine. Right down there, y'all just read that. So if you want a sneak peek before the video comes out, that's how you see it. That's how you see it. Yep, that's how you get it. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah.